And Lady Upstage still leads the Vodafone Oaksfield to Clipper, who's driven in second. Love Divine's going well in third. Calypso Kate is in fourth. Meletrin turns in in fifth. Carinium is in sixth. Malika turns in in seventh place. Gold round Saleya. Then round the outside is Dollarbird. Petrushka's off the bit, driven along. So to his clog dance. And they're now beginning to make the run down the straight towards the final three furlongs of the 2000 Vodafone Oaks. And it's Lady Upstage who got first run in second is Love Divine between horses. The grey is Calypso Katie towards the stand side and the leading trio have gone clear but with two furlongs to go, Love Divine goes on. Love Divine has now put lengths between her and her rival. She's gone two and a half lengths clear over Calypso Katie in second. In third is Lady Upstage. The rest are strung out although Petrushka is staying on together with Malika. The racing down inside the final furlong. Love Divine a tremendous turn of foot with a quarter of a mile to go. She's gone clear by two lengths over Calypso Katie in second and this is Henry Cecil's seventh Oaks winner. It's Love Divine who wins for Richard Quinn. And Santa Barbara looking on. So running down towards the most famous bend in racing, Tattenham Corner. Are they going to come wide and head over to the stands rail? It's Mystery Angel that still just leads the way to Sherbert Lemon. And then driven along is Ludger Con, Dubai Fountain, then Saffron Beach. Sayada's on the right. They are coming stand side. And Mystery Angel has skipped two or three lengths clear. But the others are beginning to chase very hard. Mystery Angel gets across to the rail. A buffeting match there between Snowfall and the fading Sherbert Lemon. Here's Santa Barbara trying to come through from the back of the field but it's Snowfall who travels up well for Frankie de Tori and just goes on now from Mystery Angel and Snowfall is quickly away in the Kazoo Oaks and it's Frankie de Tori again for Aid O'Brien. He won the 1000 guineas on Mother Earth. He's going to win the Oaks by a street here at wide margin. Some princess was by 12 lengths many years ago. This could break the record. Snowfall wins the Kazoo Oaks. Alexander has got 10 lengths to make up and Cassio Fair is last as they run down to Tattenham Corner and it's Speciosa on the inside here of time on then short skirt and Rielma queuing up now followed then by Guilia on the inside from Rising Cross and then Prowess Alexandrova still a long way back swinging into the home straight in the Oaks now and it's Speciosa still defying them but here come the challenges time on on the outside Rielma short skirt Guilia in behind they're followed then by Rising Cross as they race up the home straight now towards the two furlong marker Speciosa she's still finding more she's a half in front of time on here's Alexandrova from the clouds right down the outside from Rising Cross Alexandrova sprints into the lead with a furlong to go now Rising Cross stumbled almost came down then Speciosa but Alexandrova is home it's another win in the Oaks for Rakiran Fallon, Aiden O'Brien and the Magna combination as Alexandrova wins it well second is Rising Cross then enable in third, Rhododendron with a clear run towards the outside of these, followed by Natavia. They're followed by alluringly in horseplay, Isabelda Urbina and Coronet, and he's still kicking on on the leader pocket full of dreams, who's kicked away from Sabetsu as they now round Tattenham Corner, and it's pocket full of dreams by five lengths, two in second, Sabetsu, then enable in the pink cap, Rhododendron going well towards the outside, the leader folding up and coming back to them now about to be swallowed down by Sabetsu by Enable and Rhododendron and it's Enable and Rhododendron battling on here, Enable and Frankie de Tori in the pink cap, Rhododendron and Ryan Moore in the dark blue jacket chased by Alluringly back in third both riders going for everything and Enable is just getting on top from Rhododendron inside the final furlong Enable kicks two lengths clear of the favourite and racing up towards the line, Enable for a fourth Oaks win for Frankie de Tori in the colours of Talid Abdullah and Enable wins the Oaks. Then in the centre, Sun Drop, followed then by All Too Beautiful, now poised beautifully on the outside. Ouija Board is back in the field, and then Necklace running down towards Tattenham Corner in the Vodafone Oaks, and Punctilious the far side, being tackled by Christel. In behind them, All Too Beautiful, beautifully poised, followed then by Sun Drop, Ouija Board now right in the centre, followed by Necklace, and Kisses for Me drops out. They set sail for home, Punctilious runs away from the fence, All Too Beautiful there very quickly at his side on the near side takes it up now so it's all too beautiful who goes on with two and a half furlongs to go in the oaks here's Ouija board in the Lord Derby colours
Rana starting to loom up now. Grabs the lead now with inside the two. Followed by Punctilius and they've kicked right away now. They've got a furlong left to go on the Oaks and Ouija Borders four lengths in front. Battling on all too beautiful but it's going to be a famous victory in the Lord Derby colours as Ouija Board ridden by Kieran Fallon races away with the Vodafone Oaks. Ouija Board goes on to win it by six lengths. Very impressive.